Today I'm going to show you how to use the WebEx board and actually add web applications to the WebEx board. I have a couple built out on here. Let's dive in and check it out. First of all, all collaboration endpoint devices from Cisco now have the ability to enable macros as well as the ability to customize the user interface. We've leveraged both of these features and functionalities uh, on the WebEx board to go ahead and build a web application that you know, pops up and lets you interact with it. First of all, you'll, you'll notice that I added a few additional objects to the user interface. Uh, we made one for Google, we made one for uh, a Node-RED dashboard, the calculator one we'll talk about some other time, but uh, these are two different web applications that I've built out and added to the panel. Um, let's go ahead and tap on one of them and see what it looks like. It says opening web page, brings up the keyboard, and there it is, Google. It's a web page, a web application, the same way that you would uh, you essentially work with it from a browser on your PC. In this case, it's a touch screen. It's going to work exactly like uh, you would experience on a tablet. You can go ahead and select the search box and we'll search for, oh, I don't know, Room Kit Mini. We can go ahead and hit the, uh, the search button and we're browsing, right? We can click through different links and search the internet from there. If we go home, it'll take us back to the launch page again. In this case, we could launch the uh, Node-RED dashboard. This was something that I built out that I'll talk about in another video. But uh, as you can see, it's an interactive dashboard with some uh, constantly updating feeds. It has toggle controls, very touch uh, interactive, uh, makes the touch screen very straightforward to use. Um, so that's it. You could use these web app applications for monitoring, for interactive uh, activities, um, you know, and build them out right alongside of the typical call, whiteboard, and share functionality that your WebEx board already has. Let's jump over to my PC now and I'll show you exactly what it is that makes all of this work. To build these web applications, what you'll need to do is come into the in-room controls editor. Uh, and as you can see, I have some panels built out here. The Google and Node-RED dashboard items are the ones that we want to look at specifically. So let's look at Google. Uh, the panel ID is Google. This is configurable. This is actually the string we're going to match on in the macro that uh, enables this. The panel name is the value that's shown on screen. So you can have spaces, uppercase, lowercase, you know, to make it look good, um, so on and so forth. You can choose when it's visible. I always just say always if it's something on the main screen. Choose an icon and choose a panel button color. Uh, if you need to remove the panel item, hit delete. But uh, other than that, we're good to go. When you're ready to deploy this uh, and you have everything, you know, your panel item set up, so on and so forth, you simply just hit the export configuration to the video system button here in the upper right hand corner. You'll get a confirmation and the changes will be reflected on the display of the end system. All right, so now let's look at the macro code. There's a couple different things going on here, but it is relatively straightforward. I'm actually gonna start at the bottom. So this, this line is the event that we're listening for. We're looking for a user interface extensions panel clicked uh, event. And that essentially is someone taps that button on the screen. It then calls the uh, GUI event function, which you can see defined here, pulls in that event as the, um, you know, the variable. And from there, we're just looking at the panel ID attribute of that event. So um, you remember panel ID Google that we set before. If that is um, matched from a string perspective, and this is where your, your uppercase, lowercase, and so forth are very important. Uh, if you match that string, um, go ahead and call the open function, which you can see here, just simply calls the user interface web view display URL. Uh, just displays that web page. So um, that's essentially what's happening. Now you have to build one of these if statements or if else statements for um, uh, each part of the web application. Um, so yeah, I have two, two build out here. And uh, when you tap those panel IDs respectively, that's it. That opens up the browser and you're into the application. So that's it. That is how the web applications can be built out on the WebEx board. If you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks, 
uh, different ideas, so on and so forth, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to know how you're using this technology in your organization. Uh, but that's it. I hope to see you back here sometime soon.